At first I wasn't sure I want to show my puffy face this morning <laughs> but I will because it's real life of waking up at 3 a.m. to drive for two hours to get to British Columbia for my most bucket list hike. I've had this hike on my list for the longest time. Kaula and I are on our way to Lake O'Hara. It's all gonna be a long day because usually there is a bus that comes from this parking lot that would take you almost to that spot. You need to book the tickets for that bus from like February or March but due to COVID there is no bus this year so we have to hike up a dirt road for 11 kilometers to get to the actual hike. The hike up the dirt road shouldn't be difficult at all. Got my poles, um, but it shouldn't be too difficult, just long. There's a train coming. Um, so then we are doing the hike to see Lake O'Hara, very iconic, then 11 kilometers back. <laughs> so it's gonna be the whole day. So it should take us according to all trails about two to three hours to get there up the dirt road then the hike with some nice views along the way and then 11 kilometers back which would be about an hour and a half to two hours we agreed that we would take our time and not rush too much i'm gonna stop filming now you just gonna show you the dirt road and the state of it and then we'll stop filming until we get to some nicer spots so lake o'hara is based in british columbia at yoho national park this is the beginning of the hike and on a regular summer there would be a bus starting around here. This year there is no bus and this is where we're gonna go for 11 kilometers up into the wilderness. But this is going to be so beautiful, just hoping for not much rain. It was raining on the way here and the clouds are present but yeah looking forward to this i always start too quick and then <laughs> die very quickly as well but look at these views we're gonna try a different technique today we're gonna go slow and steady up this road for three hours so I asked people around and they said if the bus doesn't go, don't do this trail because there's nothing to see. But I mean, there are things to see and so far this trail has been so good because it's not re really like a nature trail, it's a dirt road for cars, it works for me. And there are markers along the road how many kilometers you've done so you know you have to go 11 we've just passed kilometer one yes 10 to go we are five kilometers in so almost halfway there not at all mad look at those views there or there not sure what the situation is and there's a picnic table and we're gonna have a little snacky snack it's What's the time now? 8.25. Only an hour and a half so far. Not bad, not bad. I think we can do it in three hours. I got these hiking poles from Scott at Wilderness Excursions. One of my followers on YouTube. Thank you, Scott. Um, the life is so much easier now. <laughs> this is my first hike with the poles. I'm just holding both at the same time because I'm filming. Obviously, I don't do that as I walk and not film uh, but yeah the life is so much easier now with them going up or down or even flat road just like that it's just so much easier especially if you carry a big backpack yeah hiking poles for the win we have about two kilometers to go look how gorgeous this is honestly this walk I can't say that it's like a crazy hike it's more for walk up and down just long it was so beautiful look at that gorgeous 
made it to the beginning of the campground. There are bathrooms here and fresh water here as well if anybody needs to fill up their bottles. We tried not to drink too much so we wouldn't have to go to the toilet when Carla comes out. We're gonna check out the maps. We had a lovely lady from Scotland <laughs> stop on the road. She works for Parks Canada and she told us that it will take another two hours from here to Lake O'Hara. Switchbacks, pretty steep. Uh, I don't, uh, I think we can do it. <laughs> we'll do our best while we made it here. Might as well. I'm very excited about this trip. I forgot to mention that it took us three hours exactly to go up to the play, um, playground, <laughs> campground. <laughs> the mom and me comes out. And now we are off towards that plateau where I want to take a photo and see that beautiful view. So far the views, oh my god, it's so gorgeous here. And only a short 10-15 minute walk from the campground to the Lake O'Hara. How gorgeous is this? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Can't stop filming this beauty. Apparently those cabins are about $700 a night. You can see why. Like right up here. So gorgeous. And we're just going along the lake for now until we see the signs for Opabin Plateau or Prospect or, or Paybin. God knows. If anybody knows, <laughs> let me know. So we just departed from Lake O'Hara, past some beautiful waterfalls, up the switchbacks, and how cool, uh, to Opabin Plateau West Circuit. I read a blog online saying that it's the quickest and the easiest way up there, and that's what we're looking for. <laughs> and once we're there, We'll probably spend some time there exploring, taking photos and videos and then go back down to Lake O'Hara and explore some more because by the looks of it there is so much to do and see. It's beautiful. I feel like we're halfway up. I hope we can find a different way down. <laughs> this one is pretty rocky and steep but the view from up there, if we catch it before the rain can't wait. And we made it to the top of this mountain. There's a lake. There's a lake <laughs> on top of a mountain. That's so weird. Um, so we made it here. Um, the hike was not for the faint of heart. It's kind of huge rock slide and you just climb. We didn't have to climb though. We walked up a rock slide, so it's a little creepy. It wasn't like super scary, but it was a little challenging. And we made it to the top. Now we're gonna hopefully find the lookout that I want to find. We made it. Of course it's raining, but oh my God, that view. And the rain stopped and we're taking a little photo break and it's so gorgeous here. So nice without the rain. And that is Mary Lake and that's Lake O'Hara there. Beautiful blue. I feel like we stayed here for about 20 minutes and it looks like a scary cloud is about to roll in. So we didn't really have many opportunities to take photos. Um, or explore around in the area but it looks very scary on that side and that's where the first rain came from I mean, it didn't even look scary then <laughs> it does look scary now so we better head back down because it's another like hour for us to go down slowly on these slippery rocks and then 11 kilometers back to the car wish us luck we just got royally lost and it started with crazy hail so yeah 
the ending of this trip is not great <laughs> so far but at least we know where we're going we finally made it to the sign we're going this way hopefully we'll get down to the campground in an hour and then another two hours to get to the car the way down is going a lot easier Kaula is powering through so fast i can't even catch her and um, this is mary lake and this is just to show you where we just went all the way there and on this whole trail we just saw one group just going down now up the top of the mountain we were on our own there was nobody there hence we got lost but yeah if you want a remote hike that is not super super difficult this one's for you and the views like wow oh my god this is the weather currently how oh it's just raining like crazy and we have 11 kilometers to go back to the car i'm really hoping it's gonna change for the better but so far yikes yikes made it back to the car i think it's 6 p.m <sighs> took us 11 hours to go up a hike and down i'm so dead everything hurts especially shoulders and knees and toes and head <laughs> But it was a great day. I feel like we were quite lucky with the weather apart from on the way down when it was raining on and off the whole time and it was windy and chilly. But I feel like that's better than being super hot or super cold. We had our layers on so the temperature was quite pleasant. It was like 13 degrees at some point during the day. So. Like with all the layers, I had a hoodie underneath this and like sports top and this jacket, which is not waterproof, by the way. I had to find out the tough way. Um, and my backpack turns out is not waterproof and I was freaking out about my camera the whole time. But we did it. Would I recommend doing the same hike? Yes. If, if that's what you're into because I'm into that would I do it again yes now that I know where we're going because we got lost a couple of times which killed a couple of hours for us and it wasn't very pleasant I don't like getting lost on trails especially it's so quiet everywhere we couldn't ask anyone um so that wasn't fun um but now now that we know where to go if there was a guarantee that the weather would be nicer and not raining then yeah i would definitely do that again because it was great the walk up there was great the hike was great the walk back was fine <laughs> i expected we would finish up quicker we didn't it took us a little while <laughs> and now we're gonna move on to my favorite snack chocolate covered mangoes from costco the best thing ever you're welcome and now we have a two hour drive home i want to thank thank kaula who also has a youtube channel about calgary it's in french if you speak french go ahead and follow yeah. <laughs> because she drove and she almost carried me on the way down especially the last couple of kilometers because i'm just like crumbling down oh, i guess my i guess my age shows <laughs> but the first part of the hike like the walk up and the hike itself were fine it's just on the way down i feel like the 3 a.m wake up and 4 30 leaving the house and then the drive and then the hike it kind of let itself be known to me so yeah i'm very very tired so i'm just gonna lie flat now for two hours whilst my lovely friend is driving us home <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video give it a big like if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and we'll see you all again next time oh.